In 2021, India set itself an ambitious goal, blending 20% ethanol into petrol by 2025. The idea was simple, cut carbon emissions and reduce dependence on imported oil. Starting April 2025, new vehicles compatible with this E20 fuel began rolling out. But the shift has also sparked concerns among existing vehicle owners. Ethanol is a biofuel made from sugarcane molasses and even surplus grains like broken rice. When mixed with petrol, it burns cleaner and helps reduce air pollution. Countries like Brazil have been using higher ethanol blends for decades. But India's transition is happening much faster and that's where the worry lies. Experts point out that ethanol tends to absorb water which can corrode fuel tanks and rubber components in older vehicles, especially those made before 2020. That could mean higher maintenance costs. The government, however, insists the problem is minor and that replacing affected parts is a one-time inexpensive fix. Technically, ethanol has some advantages too. It has a higher octane number, which reduces engine knocking. On the flip side, because ethanol carries less energy than petrol, vehicles may see a slight dip in mileage. Experts say the drop won't be drastic and the environmental benefits far outweigh the trade-off. Brazil, for instance, took decades to reach E27 petrol and developed flex fuel cars for the shift. India is trying to compress that journey into just a few years. The country's E20 move is bold, but how smoothly vehicle owners adapt, whether with enthusiasm or resistance, will decide how quickly this green fuel future takes off. That's it for today's video. If you have any feedback or suggestion, write to us at videos at thehindu.co.in. Thanks for watching.